Okay, this is chapter 14. We're going to be going over dental charting. Um, the original way we used to do it was if it's red, then it needs to be done. If it's blue, it's already been done. Now you have these software systems that they have different colors now. There's green. Um, you can see up there, there's the third molar is, uh, or the second molar is circled um, with a box. And so you just have to learn the system that's in your office. Um, there's hundreds of different softwares that are made now for dental charting, and each one of them is different. But what you want to keep in mind is, it's like getting a new cell phone. Once you get a new cell phone, yes, it's a pain, you have to learn it, um, but after about a week, you're used to it. And charting's the same thing. If you know the basics, then it'll be easy to navigate, um, especially with you know, within the last 20 years being the technology generation. And so uh, what you want to ask yourself is, you know, why charting is used in most dental practices? Obviously to keep organized, know what you did on the patient, but also legally to have record in case there's a lawsuit. Um, identify chart symbols to represent conditions in the oral cavity. Define GB Black six classifications of cavity preparations and explain color indications uh, to identify charting symbols. Even with that, again, you're going to have to look at the software and exactly what colors mean what. So, this is the universal system where the teeth are um, labeled 1 through 32. You start in the upper right quadrant and that um, wisdom tooth is number one, and then you go all the way around to the left, and that would be tooth number 16, drop down, and then at 17, back over to the right to where you have number 32. This would be the Palmer system for numbering. This is what we use in orthodontics. So you see that it's broken into four boxes, which are your four quadrants your upper right, your upper left, your lower right, your lower left. So if I were to say, we're going to uh, bond the upper centrals, I could also say, we're gonna bond the upper ones. If we're gonna bond the upper and lower centrals, I would say, we're gonna bond the upper and lower ones. So you just need to know what's used in your office. And then of course, all around the world, there's, um, you know, different ways of charting. So depending on where you're at, they might use the Federation Dentaire International, the FDI system. And so again, just know exactly what it is and study that. Then we have our cavity classifications, which I'm gonna do a separate PowerPoint for that because we're gonna use a model and actually place the uh, fillings in that with composite, but you have class one, class two, class three, class four, class five, and then later on they added six, which is not caused from decay, but actually grinding the teeth and having that uh, bruxism take off that first layer of enamel and until you reach the dentin. And then we have abbreviations. Uh, the different names of the teeth, your incisors, your canine, premolars, and molars. The third molar is also called your wisdom tooth. And so these are important landmarks in the mouth that you need to learn. We have our periodontal pockets, stages of periodontal disease. So what they're using in this picture is the perioprobe that have these lines on it to measure the depth of the sulcus. And so the deeper it goes, you see the further away the gingival tissue is. And so the last one, number four, is advanced periodontitis. And that has moved away so much, the tooth is not supported by the tissue. So that tooth's gonna be very loose. The better support you have, the more solid that tooth is gonna be sitting in that socket. And then here we have different uh, color indicators and you can see how many different colors. Um, some offices even use 
this many colors to identify with charting and scheduling. And so, um, you know, make sure you get a copy of it, study it for that particular office. And we have different softwares we talked about. Um, this particular one to me looks like Minecraft. And so uh, just know in that particular software, you know, how they number it, making sure it's, you know, upper right, upper left, and not vice versa, getting things marked in the wrong spot. Um, this is the way I started out, where it was just a round circle, and that circle in the middle is the occlusal surface. Above its lingual, below its buccal, and then to the right and left would be mesial and distal. So for me, um, you know, this is pretty easy. And the whole reason why you have these five different surfaces marked off is when you're charting, you have to be able to tell how many surfaces were covered for a filling. Because if you charge $100 per surface, and there's three different surfaces, that's gonna be $300. So you wanna make sure that you're charting correctly so they can bill the insurance to um, make sure everything's accurate, that lines up, so you don't get accused of insurance fraud. And some softwares will actually include the bite wings and periapicals um, so that you can see everything at once, which I really like. All right, this is a Maryland bridge, and uh, some of y'all were asking questions about this. So the tooth that you see, there's three teeth here that are being affected. Um, you have your centrals, and then you have that lateral that was missing between the central and canine. So the two silver things you see um, are little pads, and on the back of it, you have bonding, and so the lateral that was missing, that's actually a false tooth, and it's just resting on top of the gingiva. And the way it's being held in place is the central and the canine, that little uh, wire is all glued to it, holding it in place. However, if you bit into a carrot um, directly down on that, it's, it's probably gonna pop off and um, come unglued. And so, this is one way that you can put a tooth in there, but it's, if you're doing this, you might have to take off some of the enamel on the central and the canine, and that's damaging a perfectly healthy tooth. So this is what we call a Maryland bridge, and there's specific charting for appliances that we'll go over in a, a later video. Macrodontia, um, this was one of the things that came up um, for the certification. You hear the term in technology, micro, macro. Macro means large, and then doncha is tooth, so it's a large tooth. And so that is exactly what is going on in these two different pictures. Um, the one to the right, that is actually a central and a lateral fused together during development. And so there's several different ways to um, to treat that and so I just wanted to make you aware of it so when you go to chart you'll ask the dentist specifics on how to chart for that and the last one is the dental fistulas um, and this is just where there's a break in the skin and a means for things to travel through uh, Dento biofilm. I have a handout that we're going to be going over um, for the dental biofilm. There is a difference between the plaque that you see that looks fuzzy and if you clean the tea, two minutes later you're going to have biofilm starting to develop. There's healthy bacteria and uh, there's unhealthy bacteria and we're going to be learning about the difference.